everybody and welcome back to a new vlog on my YouTube channel and today I am doing another writing vlog. So this is episode two of my writing diaries. I'm really excited to share some more of my book writing journey with you guys. I got a lot of positive reactions to the previous writing vlog so I've really been wanting to make a new one for a long time. So for those of you who don't know I am currently working on an essay collection so I'm writing all different sorts of essays about my life. It's not really a memoir but it is sort of a memoir but I am 24 so I'm not calling it a memoir because I don't know, that just sounds really ridiculous. I'm planning on also maybe making like some illustrations for it and stuff like that, but that's all for further down the road. So what I'm currently working on is just making my essays better and structuring them better and stuff like that. So the essay I was working on in my other vlog is also an essay I'm still working on. So there's two essays that I'm currently mostly working on. One is about friendship and one is about my first kiss and sort of loss of innocence as you go into puberty. They're both super fun to write. I adore writing. It's one of my favourite things to do and it just makes me feel like everything is right in life and I just makes me very happy. The essay I want to first focus on in this vlog is the one about my first kiss and it's becoming very long. I think when I've written out my whole outline, it's going to be around 6,000 words, which is way too long for an essay. It's like really, really long and I am aware. So this vlog started with some clips of me in my writing group. So I'm currently in a writing group, basically with a bunch of other authors as well. And we give each other advice and we help each other out. And there's also a teacher that helps us with several things. And it's also just really nice to have like a writing community and I also really love that there's like something pushing me to write because I really need that extra push and since I don't have a publisher or anything yet it's really nice that I have that extra push from a writing group. So writing group was yesterday and then you probably also saw some footage of me in the past weeks of writing just in coffee shops and stuff like that. That is also what I'm planning on doing today. I'm planning on going out and finding a nice place to sit and write. I always notice that when I'm in a coffee shop I just seem to be able to concentrate so much better and I'm not entirely sure why or like what the coffee shop magic is but it's a thing and it's happening. <laughs> Maybe it's just the coffee, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I have the outline for my essay. <laughs> so this is a bit of the essay right now and I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> such an author. This is most of it right now and I've made some notes and like little things that I want to change up but I think it would be best to first write the whole thing out before I start cleaning it up because now we're sort of cleaning it up and writing it on at the same time and it was getting kind of confusing and like not motivating because it's just if you get really critical of your writing whilst you're still writing it down that just makes it really 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 difficult to keep going. We can kill the darlings and take some parts out later because it is definitely going to be too long. So this is the outline that my my writing teacher and I uh, came up with together. I'm sort of holding it up as a Bible. <laughs> I, I've brought it to writing class for the last few weeks and it's just, I don't know, it's helpful to me. I really like it. I should do this for all my essays. Will I actually do it? I don't know, but I should. So I have some really concrete ideas on how I want to finish the essay. Okay, wait. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing some sort of presentation that I did not practice for. <laughs> my first boyfriend who tried to kiss me and I was scared and I just sort of leaned backward very awkwardly. I feel like we already talked about this in the last vlog as well. From there on out, I write some passages about that relationship and then about the actual first kiss and then about me sort of accepting like the kiss and just sort of like coming to terms with myself growing up and wanting those type of things but also not wanting them at the same time. And then after that is where it gets kind of messy because I wrote this passage about me in my supermarket job <laughs> as a teen, sort of thinking about kissing my boyfriend. I sort of want to work it towards the breakup and then towards sort of this feeling of growing up and coming of age and learning to do things because you really want them, but also sort of accepting that you are now growing up, like themes like that. But it's also really about choosing things for yourself because with this first boyfriend ever I was very young at the time I um he wanted to go out and do stuff you know he wanted to see things and I just wanted to sit at home because I had panic attacks when I went outside um and then when after we broke up I had this sort of moment where I decided I did want to go outside and I really worked for it and then I ran into him at certain places that I would have never been with him but now I was there without him and so that's an element I really want to use in this because it seems to be some sort of growing up thing you know that then i i didn't do it for him but i did do it for myself which is it's, it's kind of horrible but it's interesting um so i want to use that 
So I've written out like another outline that is more detailed. I know that's a lot of outlines are happening. I'm also planning on illustrating a bit for my web shop, which I'm very excited about because I'm just feeling really inspired. So yeah, I'm gonna head off to the city. I'm gonna walk around a bit. I'm going to write and then I'm also going to illustrate a little bit and I'll check back in with you when I have something interesting to tell you about my writing and my process. I just wrote out a little bit more of the scene where I spent like some more time with my first boyfriend and like the way that relationship was and now I want to work it up to the breakup and then get some of the final themes into the bit as well so I'm going to be working on that for a little bit now and then I'll catch back up with you tomorrow hopefully when I've done a lot more writing and I'm also not sure if I've showed you how I've organized my writing yet because I've done some organizing in Notion so if I haven't showed you yet I will because it might be fun to see doing pretty good with writing some more I am taking way too much time well I'm mostly just using too many words it's sometimes like so difficult to write something out when you know you're gonna like edit it so badly but you just you first need to get like your story out there before you can like make it better and sometimes I just turn into such a perfectionist I kind of like want to stop writing because the first thing I write is not good enough like I should stop before even being able to like improve it which is silly and I know I like I feel like it less and less the more I write and push myself to write but it's it's definitely something I'm struggling with so I'm going to take a small break and show you my notion and how I've organized my writing so far and then after that I'm going to do some writing sprints to motivate myself to write just a little bit longer so this is my notion homepage. I did not make this template myself I downloaded it online and I like personalized it so I have several categories but I'm just going to show you my writing notion currently so this is my work notion I have my writing notion like 
sub tabbed in my work notion. As you can see, there's a lot of Studio Ghibli theme going on. So I have here like all of my writing jobs and my weekly schedule. But if you go to writing, if you click writing right here, made this page for the writing specifically. So the top one is my written columns. Some of those are also technically essays, but it's like the columns that I wrote for Headleaf Dachbuch, which is uh, a feminist writing platform that I published for. And then we have my essay collections, and this is fiction I've written. So we're going to take a deep dive into the essay collection. Well, not a deep dive, because there's not as much on the notion. It's pretty basic right now. But we're going to take a look at the essay collection. So if you press that one, it goes on to this page. And I've made it like a little cozy and pretty. I wish this was wallpaper so I could put it on my wall. I think it is actually, but it's expensive, so... <laughs> Okay, so then here we have a nice quote from Rainer Maria Rilke from Letters to a Young Poet, and then this cute photo. And then here I have like a little overview of my essays and where in the writing process they are. So the essays that are on their first version are on this tab. This is the ones that I'm rewriting still in their second version. This is the ones who are in their second version. So I know this is maybe not the most logical way of organising it, but it's just what works for me now, I guess. I'm still figuring out how to do this. And then I have tabbed all of the essays with themes, like the specific themes that they have. So I also have a sort of overview of how they tie together and which ones I might eventually publish. And then here I have some more like writing goals and stuff I want to do with this notion when I get further along in the process. And then here I have the feedback from my writing group and it's organized into like notes per date of writing group and then also per essay. Um, so if I click these notes, for example, have some keywords and feedback that they gave me for this essay. So yeah, that is basically how I've organized it right now. It's not perfect and I definitely want to make some more use of it because I just, I notice that a lot of the times I am more comfortable with just written notes. I don't know, it works better for me. Not sure why, but that's also why I have all of these papers with like outlines and things. I don't know, it just works for me. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my notion because I know you always love seeing that and I thought it would be fun as well. Okay, so I'm going to do a 20 minute writing sprint right now and then we'll get back to you later. Good morning guys, so I just did a few hours of writing sprints. I'm actually doing so well with writing right now. It is always so exciting when I'm like motivated and doing well. I still feel like I'm always moving too slow. Just because like, I don't know, I would love to get this book finished like next week and then just publish it. But it's just, it's so much work. And especially the first draft, it's like easy and hard at the same time. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, I know it doesn't have to be perfect at the first draft. But I also don't know because I kind of feel like it should be. So yes, it's a struggle. And definitely now with the ending of this essay, I'm struggling a bit. So I've written down a few passages of like my relationship to this first boyfriend who I shared my first kiss with. And it feels like kind of silly because this is not one of the defining relationships in my life because this was a very short relationship, but it's just, it was the point where I sort of started to grow up and started to discover my sexuality and like, attraction to other people but it's very focused on him now and i'm kind of doubting whether it should be because this is also the time where i started doubting my sexuality whether i was straight or maybe not and it's also a time where there was just my anxiety was getting worse and there was a lot of mental health struggles but the thing is you can't put all of the themes into one essay you need to like make choices otherwise it'll just be too much you know this is also what we do with writing group we go over it we make it better you know we discuss how we could make certain pieces of writing better. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure if this is the right course because sometimes you just start a piece of writing and then it sort of like gets a life of its own and like it's 
it goes to places you didn't expect it to go. Anyway, I'm almost at the end. I have like two passages to write and then it will be finished. And today's also the homework deadline for my writing group. So that's actually great. I'm doing really well. So yes, exciting, but also scary because then I'll have finally like fully finished two essays who are then like ready for editing. Um, so I am making progress, even though it feels like I'm not. It's just, I'm always being so hard on myself. I don't know. I think most of you guys might recognize this as well because it's just, you want to do well, you know? But yes, I'm going to end this vlog right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this second writing vlog. I definitely did. I'm just so excited to one day share my writing with you for you guys to like hold this book and read it. Uh, I also really want to share more of my writing on Instagram, but I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Um, and yes, of course, all this needs to be translated because I'm writing it in Dutch. Don't know the logistics of how this is going to go, but I am definitely excited. Yes, let me know in the comments down below whether you enjoyed this reading vlog and let me know what writing projects you are working on. And maybe you can share a little bit of your process. I would love to know to hear like how other writers experience their writing process. I will see all of you in my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye guys.